हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी इजी नोट्स इफ यू लाइक दिस चैनल प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब कमेंट एंड शेयर टुडेस टॉपिक इज स्पॉन्टेनियस जनरेशन थ्योरी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट ह्यूमन ऑलवेज वंडर्ड अबाउट हाउ लाइफ केम ऑन अर्थ एज अ ह्यूमन नेचर व्हाट वी सी वी बिलीव इन एंशिएंट टाइम्स देयर वर नो एडवांस साइंटिफिक मेथड्स टू प्रूव अवर बिलीव्स व्हाटएवर पीपल ऑब्जर्वड बिकेम ट्रुथ फॉर देम For example every year in the season of spring the Nile river flooded the areas of Egypt along the river after the flood in muddy soil large number of frogs appear that were not around in drier times that made people believe that muddy soil gave rise to the frogs another example was in many parts of europe medieval farmers stored grain in barns in winter and in rainy season moisture used to cause spoiled and moldy grains which led to lots of mice around then people thought mice came from moldy grains aristotle was the first who theorized these ideas and said non living objects can give rise to living organisms when required heat and moisture are available it means generation of life is spontaneous this theory held its place for two millenniums in 1668 first time francisco redi challenged spontaneous generation theory as per ancient belief that maggots or flies generate from meat but with his experiment he showed this is not true maggots spawn out from flies not from meat or decaying matter to prove this francisco redi did an experiment he took three jars and in every jar he placed piece of meat he kept first jar open and second jar he sealed tightly and third jar he covered with net cloth after a couple of days he observed that flies were attracted to all the three jars but the second jar which was tightly sealed there were no flies inside it first jar has lots of flies and maggots on piece of meat third jar has flies and maggots but only on net cloth not inside the jar then he said in second jar flies could not enter the jar because it was tightly sealed so flies and maggots were not originated from the meat hence the theory life is born out of non living matter is not true in 1745 john needham an english biologist did yet another experiment he took a broth and flask and infused it with plant and animal matter then he boiled the broth he thought boiling will kill all the microorganism though he did not boil it for sufficient time then he sealed the flask and left it for few days he observed the cloudy growth in the flask he supported the spontaneous generation theory with this experiment and his companions also believed him but here in reality he did not boil the broth for enough time which could kill microorganisms present in the broth In 1768, Lazzaro Splangiani, an Italian biologist, reattempted Needham's experiment. He ran two parallel tests. He took animal and plant matter infused broth and boiled it vigorously for sufficient time. Then he kept one jar open and sealed the other jar. After few days, he observed open jar has cloudy growth while there were no growth in sealed jar. he concluded the air was responsible for microbial growth in the flask as it has some life source in 1862 louis pasteur settled all disputes related to spontaneous generation theory he took swan like flask which has long bending neck that traps dust particles and other contaminants before they reach to the body of the flask with this type of flask he ran three experiments parallelly first he heated swan like flask containing broth and let it sit no growth was observed after few days because contaminants settled in the curved neck and could not reach to the broth in second experiment after heating the flask he broke the neck of the flask and after few days growth was observed because micro contaminants could reach to the broth by a broken neck in third experiment after heating the flask he tilted the flask growth was seen after few days tilted flask gave access to the contaminants which could spoil the broth these experiments proved that there was no spontaneous generation since the boiled broth if never exposed to air remained sterile